I love that it's um, very tactile. It's kind of almost got a body for me. It's a book that has a body. When I read it, it, it kind of created a whole range of kind of visual images in, in my mind. And um, I just thought it would be a really phenomenal thing to try and do a translation of that, a kind of a, a, an iteration of that through dance. I, I love process. I love being in the studio, um, just solving physical problems, seeing what all of the options are. And the Tree of Codes, the book, has offered us so many ways into thinking about working with choreography that we're just keeping on going experimenting and experimenting. I'm really surprised and uh, with Wayne I'm always uh, like so shocked of how he's thinking, how he's moving and how he makes me understand myself now. What's for me is so interesting and exciting about this project is to have six dancers from the Paris Opera that obviously have a much more balletic approach to certain movements and tasks. It's so fascinating to see how they interpret one of Wayne's tasks and how I would as a contemporary dancer interpret it. I think for me what's the most important thing about dancers is that they're really open and questioning and that they really want to experiment with what's possible in their own bodies. It's been really beautiful in the studio to see the kind of the conversation, the dialogue between these dancers of the Paris Opera and my own company, each bringing a very different and very particular and individual style to the work. I love to make people realise that dance is a body language and body language is universal. I've got a, a kind of a transaction of energy between me and the dancers when we're working and the dancers and me. I've also got a transaction of energy between the collaborators one of the wonderful things about Olafur and uh, Jamie is that they forced me to think differently about what could choreography be, what can a body do, how is it that we might be able to organise a dance in relationship to their elements. And the vital one is the transaction of energy of the thing that we make with the audience. It's something that we kind of create together, we evolve the language together, and that piece is very much a we, not I, endeavour. <laughs>